what is up awesome people. So in today's video we're going to talk about antennas. I was originally going to fly my Mobula 6 HD0 freestyle and it came with this whip antenna but I've heard of some people actually calling the dipole antenna a whip antenna and well that's not exactly right and so this is the reason why I'm doing this video and we're going to actually take a look at different types of antennas that are available and if you're new to the hobby, it can get really, really confusing because there's a difference between 2.4 GHz antennas and 5.8 GHz antennas. Then there are the 868 MHz antennas and the 915 MHz antennas. But first, let's just replace this whip antenna and I'm going to replace it with a dipole one. And one of the main reasons is that the dipole offers a better range and more flexibility as compared to the whip antenna, which is mainly weight savings, but doesn't really have a very good range. Now here you'll see a copper antenna and this is what you'll find on your Tiny Whoops AIO and this is similar to the whip antenna except for the fact that this is actually 2.4 gigahertz and the whip antenna is a 5.8 gigahertz. Now as I mentioned before, these are the 2.4 gigahertz antennas and these are for your radios and receivers and the main reason for this is because of range and penetration and so this is why radios and receivers are using the 2.4 gigahertz antennas. Over here we have the 868 or 915 MHz antennas. These are the TBS Crossfire antennas and they are totally different from the ones that you actually use for video. These are mainly for your radios and receivers. So you can't use a 2.4 GHz or 868 or 915 MHz for your videos because one of the reason is that 5.8 GHz are for video transmission and that's because it has a higher bandwidth and a lower latency compared to the 2.4 gigahertz. So over here we have on my left the 868 or 915 megahertz antennas and the ones in the middle are the 2.4 gigahertz antennas and the ones on the right are the 5.8 gigahertz antennas. And here's a comparison between a whip antenna and a dipole antenna. Like its name suggests, it's called a dipole because it has two poles of conductive elements and these are linear polarized antennas and they are in a straight line. And here's a couple more dipole antennas and some of them are actually encased in a sleeve or perhaps a silicon sock and but they're generally all dipole antennas. I'm gonna uh, rip open one just to show you that it is actually a dipole antenna. I'm not gonna bore you into the actual details of the antennas because it's a little too technical and uh, you might want to just look it up. Plus, I'm not very knowledgeable in this area, so I've got all the nerds out there who's going to be flaming me for saying the wrong stuff. <laughs> you guys know who you are. Alright, so now that we've established different types of antenna like 2.4 GHz and 5.8 GHz, this is a 5.8 GHz omnidirectional antenna and this one's a clover antenna that's from ORT. This is one of my favorites for analog. And I have here the Foxier Lollipop, which is also an RHCP, and these are both 5.8 GHz antennas meant for video. And here we have a stubby antenna, and this is also a stubby Lollipop, and it's also RHCP, and this one's also a circular polarized antenna. There are many variations of this because of the connector. You have the UFL connector, you have the IPEX connectors, which is kind of similar, but one is bigger than the other. And of course, you have the... RPSMA and the SMA connectors and even the MMPX connectors. Next we're going to look at patch antennas. This is the micro shield antenna from ORT and we also have the Foxier antenna and my old time favorite the TrueRC Crossair patch antenna. Now these are directional antennas which means that it only faces the front. Next we look at the helical antenna and the helical antenna is a circular polarized antenna and these are mainly used for long range. This is the ORT helical antenna and this is RHCP that I actually use for my long range quads. Next we look at the digital antennas and this one's an LHCP which is a left hand circular polarized antenna and the reason is because DJI started with an LHCP antenna and it has since become the standard for digital FPV. Bear in mind that if your video receiver your goggles example uh, is on LHCP then you want your quad to be on LHCP antennas as well but if your goggles are on RHCP then you want your antennas on the quads to be on RHCP you can use an LHCP with an RHCP but the range might not be that good I know because I've tried it 
All right, so I hope that actually gives you an insight to antennas. And now that my antennas have been replaced, let's head out to the field.